Okay, and we're back. So how are we going to create these quizzes? So I need everyone to click on the paper and pencil. It says test design. And then you're going to click create manage tests. Okay. Once you've clicked on create manage test, you're going to click on add new test bank. You're going to select your grade level subject area and the bank name is going to be the standard that you are creating this exam for so let's go with RL 7.1 so again grade subject bank name which is going to be the standard you're creating this test for click create it will say test bank has been created and it should bring you back to this original screen. Then you're going to click on Add New Test to the right. Oh, you can't do that unless you select the test. Sorry about that. So on the left hand side, find the test that you just created. So here it is, RL 7.1. Now we can click Add New Test. We're going to name the test the same thing, RL 7.1. Click Create. Okay, now we're ready to select questions. We're going to go to the left and click Import Item. After you click Import Item, you're going to unclick Personal Item Library and make sure to click District Item Library. Again, unclick Personal Item Library, make sure to click District Item Library. Under State, we're going to select Common Core. Under Subject, English Language Arts, and your grade level. Okay. Now you should see that the standards have popped up to the right here. These all uh, are accordion-like, so if you unwrap reading, you'll see it split into literature and informational text. Unwrap RL 6.1 you'll see the anchor standards and if you continue to click you'll see here now we have RL 7.1, RL 7.2, 0.3 if we unwrap this one we have 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 7.6 and then 7.10 so it's important for you to realize which standards are not listed here there are a couple that are not listed here because they lend themselves to students being able to speak around certain topics which is why they're not here because we can't assess them with a digital assessment so please make sure that you take note of that um, if you split the standards up amongst yourselves already you might just have to do some rearranging based on what you see here but for now since I'm only creating this exam for 7.1 I'm just going to click 7.1 and then we're going to search for items, search by item. Click this here. Now here are all of the questions on the system that will assess 7.1. We only need 10. There are 30 here for us to choose from. If you hover over the question, you'll see that in the yellow box, it will tell you what passage this question is linked to. So this question is linked to four ways of looking at the ocean. I'm going to mark this one. Question two also is linked to the same passage. I'm going to mark that one. Question three, same passage. Question four is a different passage. Now I'm going to just see if there are any other for the ocean. Oh, there are down here. I'm going to click on that one. Ooh. Another one here. Oh, how many do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's keep going. Okay, none of these are linked to that same passage. Okay, there were a number for Damon and Pythias. So I'm going to start with those. So I have five. Let's do six. 7, 
eight. Sorry about that. Nine. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put this one here, 10, even though it's a different passage, because we're going to preview it. And if it's not too long of a passage, and we can fit it in, then we'll keep it. This is also good so that I can be able to show you, if you need to delete questions, how that works as well. We want to go for 10. If when I searched for 7.1, there were only 8 questions here, I would choose those 8. And then add two more questions from another standard that students often need assistance with and more um, practice with. So if 7.2, there are also often a lot of questions for 7.2. You could add two additional questions for a different standard um, if you find yourself in that situation. So once you have 10 items clicked, you're going to click on Add Items to Test. You want to select Clone Original Items. Click Add. Okay, once they're successfully added to the section, you'll see you have 10 questions here. All right, now. We're gonna click on Return to Tests. Now we wanna click Preview Online. Uh, you don't have to change any of the settings here. Click Preview. Test is ready for preview. Click OK. Here we go. Now we can preview what the test is going to look like. All right, so I have four ways of looking at the ocean. If there are short constructor responses, that's fine. Just have students write a couple of sentences to answer the question. We're going to give students at least 30 minutes to complete the 10 uh, questions. So again, 30 minutes to complete this. We're just going to type to move on. Okay. Now it went to Damon and Pythias. Drag four quotes. So I want to take that into consideration because I know I have more questions about the ocean passage, but they didn't come in the order that I wanted them to. But we have the ability to change that. Okay. Now this is that one random question and it is a pretty lengthy passage. Um, again, I would use your discretion here if you want to go back and find uh, another passage or another question, you could, we can keep it. Now we're back to four ways of looking at the ocean. All right, let's submit. Okay. All right, so we're going to log out of that. So if I'm not happy with how it looks, then if I want to delete any questions, all I need to do is select the question and make sure the check mark is selected and I can delete the question. I can also drag these around if I want to if I want to move them okay um, you just need to fidget with it a little bit it will do it all right if you want to move anything around once you are finished and you're happy with how the test looks then you're going to click close and then you're going to go over here to the left again and find the test. Here it is. And now this is very important. In order for all the schools to be able to see the test that you've created, you're going to click on Publish to District. You're going to click the pencil. 
Then you're going to click to sh click on share to my district. As long as it says I learn schools, you're good. You click close. Make sure that you see it over here to the right. You can click save changes one more time. And now you should be good to go. Okay, when you go in as a teacher to assign the test, you should now be able to see RL 7.1's exam. Okay, now I'm going to um, delete this so that you don't get confused uh, since someone is going to create RL 7.1. You can make the decision about that third passage if you want it there uh, or not. If there are only nine questions, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, if that passage you feel is too long and they're not going to be able to finish within 30 minutes with the other questions. Okay, so uh, let me delete this before I forget to do that. Okay, and it should not be there anymore. And it's not. Okay, so if there are any questions, um, please feel free to give me a call. I am in a workshop today, but hopefully I will be able to answer immediately to assist you. I hope that these uh, videos are helpful for you to be able to complete the task that you have today. So again, you can split the standards up, some standards up amongst all of your cells for reading literature and reading informational standards. The making of your groups, you're going to use the data from the video, the first video, to be able to organize those groups. Next week, when you, um, I'm sorry, uh, the you're going to administer the first test after spring break. After that first week of administration, if some of your students still need more work on RL 7.1, then we'll create a second exam for RL 7.1 that you can share with each share amongst one one another, and it will be used for the following week. So again, if there are any questions, please let me know. And thank you all for your time.